Hi, I'm Brent Wagner. I'm the Executive Director of the American Board of Radiology. I'm here today to share some feedback regarding the recent core exam administration. And with me is a member of our initial certification advisory committee, Dr. Sarah Hunter. I'll turn things over to Sarah. Thank you, Dr. Wagner, and thank you for having me. Um, I'm Sarah Hunter. I'm Chief Resident at Cleveland Clinic in Cleveland, Ohio. After I finish my Chief Residency, I'm going to be doing an abdominal imaging fellowship here again at Cleveland Clinic. I'm currently finishing up the 16-month new med pathway as well. Oh, terrific. Well, uh, you just recently took the exam, and that's a part of why we're interested in hearing your uh, input on, on how it went. Uh, specifically, what were you expecting going into the exam? Yes, I had mixed feelings about it. Um, I was excited that I could take it at home, or at least at my home institution, because it's a little bit of a hassle to travel. For me, it would have been to Chicago, get a hotel, uh, figure out how I'm going to get there with flights. I've got a young son, so that would be an even more difficult to figure out childcare. So I was very relieved to hear that I could take it back at home. However, I was concerned because this is all virtual and we've never done this before. Of course, we've heard with other boards and not, you know, the ABR, that there were some difficulties when they try to give a virtual exam. So that was in the back of my head the whole time as well. Yeah, I'm sure that was pretty stressful. I know we heard from a lot of candidates who were just worried about kind of that unknown aspect since this was the first time we had administered a remote exam to this degree. Um, so, so if that was sort of your expectation, how different was the reality? Or if I could phrase it a different way, what surprised you about, about the exam? I was surprised by how smoothly it went. Honestly, um, to, to be honest, any type of virtual examination that we take or anything that we do on a computer, I expect some type of hiccup. I expect something to, you know, break or go wrong and nothing went wrong. And, and it was such a relief. I didn't have to worry about that. I could just focus on taking the examination and focus on, on doing the best I could for the uh, core exam. Oh, terrific. Um, you know, we did have some people who had connection issues, actually was a minority of our, of our test takers. So I think your experience was similar to most of the people who, who took the exam on the first half of this month. We're recording this uh, in late February. So, so it's good to hear that you had a, a good experience. And again, if it, if it surprised you because it was effective, then that's about as, as good as we could hope for, I suppose. What did you, you think of the sign-in process, specifically the ID check and the, and the room scans, sort of things that went into the remote proctored environment? Mm -hmm. I went through the practice exam a few times. I know you offered that at least a few weeks before the actual core examination. I went through it multiple times in advance and that made it so much easier. Uh, knowing that I had to have my ID right there, uh, knowing how to do the room check was very helpful because when you got into it the day off, you knew exactly the steps to go through. Yeah, that was important. We wanted to emphasize for people that they could do that as many times as they wanted so that they were very comfortable with, with what was going on on the day of the exams. You're right, you don't want that. And in some ways, that's an advantage because you couldn't practice in, in a physical exam center, right? I mean, you got kind of that one shot the day of the exam. So, um, so I'm glad you found that, uh, that useful. Uh, along those lines, uh, tell me what you thought of the pre-exam communications overall. You know, we had some videos out there. We had our web page. We had some guides. Uh, it always seems like we can never quite communicate enough, but what, what did you think of that? Was it overwhelming? Was it not enough, too much, or, or different from what it should have been? I appreciated the amount of um, pre-examination communication that we had. Um, I think we had about three or four emails within two or three weeks beforehand. I particularly appreciated that the few days beforehand we got a cell phone number or a link on um, who to call if we had issues during the exam, and I had a colleague actually use that to great success. Okay. Um, the PDF that you provided online that had lists of everything you could and couldn't have was also very helpful. I didn't realize I could have a whiteboard for the exam. And I will say I'm a person who really needs to be able to write things down with difficult questions. The one thing I wish I would have looked at, and I know this was offered and suggested that we looked at, was the um, how to do the room scan in advance. Just from all the studying and all the chaos, I forgot to go through it, and I didn't realize until the second half of the first day that I didn't do a good enough and adequate enough room scan the first time around. Okay. Well, you certainly weren't alone in that. We had a lot of people struggle with that, and, and, and partly it was related to the nature of the software, that third-party vendor that we had. Um, there's a, a certain glitch in the way they presented it. Instead of kind of saying, 
you know, keep doing this until you're done. They were telling you you were done even though you weren't. And, and we tried to address that, but it, um, it's difficult to, again, we didn't want to over communicate at the same time. We want to make sure people had a good understanding and comfort with the process. So, uh, so I'm glad you were able to work through that. Obviously it didn't impact, you know, we, we, uh, we realized that was a struggle for a lot of people getting it right. Cause it's something for most of our examinees on that day, they had never done that before. Uh, that made it, I think, a challenge for everybody. Um, so, how would how would uh, this experience then guide what you're going to uh, sort of do in your interactions with the advisory committee? I mean, you've had that role for well over a year, and uh, you know, I'm just curious as to what information would you bring back to the committee itself, kind of to tell um, the ABR and your colleagues on that committee what what might be done differently. Absolutely, um, I'm just going to say I had a very positive experience, uh, as I mentioned. And the one thing I wasn't expecting is how positive the three-day examination was as compared to doing a two-day exam. Initially, when I was brought up in our advisory committee, I was hesitant about it. But I'll say I got to sleep in every day. We started at 10 um, <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. I got an hour, an hour and a half for lunch, and I got to get home early. And I will say those three days were the shortest work days I've had in years. Okay. Well, that's probably that's probably typical for a resident in radiology, so I understand that. Uh, interestingly, your, your colleagues on the West Coast, of course, didn't get to sleep in because it was a simultaneous start, but but uh, uh, that said, they got home earlier than you did at the end of the day, too. So, uh, well, that's good. So along those lines, what could the ABR have done better? What, uh, what would we have done or what should we do differently the next time? Um, the one thing I would recommend and I touched on earlier is make that uh, room scan that the video audit mandatory, just because it's so easy when you're looking at everything to, to forget to go through it. And even though those seem like simple tasks, like showing your whiteboard, when you're so stressed out during those days, you kind of forget to do the simple things. You know, it's, it's good to hear you say that, partly because it's consistent with a lot of the survey responses we got and what we viewed when we were examining the videos. You know, people generally got by, and, and uh, but, but I'm sure it was uh, stressful. And, uh, and like I say, it's something novel. It's something you haven't done before. Um, and, uh, and, and we're looking at ways to mitigate that stress for, for the future class. You know, in some ways, your group was a pilot, you know, and we've kind of said we're looking at the entire year of 2021 as a pilot because it kind of has to be as we adjust to this, but your class in particular, the group of our fours that took the exam uh, earlier in February, um, really, unfortunately, you kind of became the test group. And, and as I say, it worked out, I think, for most people, but we'd like it to be less stressful. You know, it, it worked, but could we make it less stressful? So, so we'll have to work on that um, to, to really make it better. Um, anything you would want to share with your fellow residents who, you know, the class behind you, the current R3s are going to be taking the exam and and actually just a little over three months. So what advice would you give them about this? Or what would you tell them now that you've been through this experience? Absolutely. Um, the biggest piece of advice I would give them is to go through that practice test as many times as you can, particularly in the environment. I found so many little errors on my behalf, like on our system, that I had to figure out in advance. I wouldn't have known if I hadn't gone through it multiple times. Okay. Well, that's that's excellent. We, we kind of thought all along that would be you know, if, if I had been talking to a candidate a month before the exam, uh, I would have said exactly the same thing, that the more you go through that, the more familiar it is to you. The test is about, you know, assessing your college, uh, your competence and your knowledge, not about your ability to navigate, you know, an unfamiliar system. And, and the way to address it, of course, is to make it familiar. Um, anything you'd like to add? Uh, anything that uh, we didn't cover um, in, our, in our brief conversation about, about the exam, the process, and and sort of how you view it in retrospect? Yeah, um, I think we did a pretty good job. I'm just very thankful for the software you used, how the EBR as a whole um, managed to move to a virtual exam and very successfully so. Oh, terrific. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, again, I'm Brent Weiner. I'm here with Sarah Hunter, recently took the core exam in uh, diagnostic radiology. Thanks very much for your time and your input and uh, look forward to your further contributions to the advisory committee. Thank, thank you. you.